What's happening, Vinyl Community? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you guys are when you're watching this. This is an unboxing that I wasn't planning on doing just yet. Um, it was This record was supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but um, I guess with the holidays, things are kind of a little off kilter, so it was an unexpected surprise, but a pleasant one nonetheless. And it got delivered today, so I figured I'd just roll with the punches and we'll go ahead and do this unboxing for you now. A um, little backstory on this album before I unbox it for you. Again, like all my unboxings, it's the uh, first time I'm going to get eyes on this one, so hopefully it's uh, not a disappointment. Um, still browse eBay pretty regularly, and most of the time stuff is still going for insane amounts of money. And most of the time, don't even don't even give it a second glance, but uh, occasionally you still get lucky, and in this case, I got lucky. Um, was browsing early in the morning, had just gotten off work, and found a uh, Blue Note auction uh, that was about to end. I said, what the hell? It was cheap enough, so I put in a bid of uh, 80 bucks and waited for it to count down and didn't think much of it and got the notification I won. So contacted the seller and uh, arranged payment and everything, and here she is. So without further ado, let's get started. Like I said, this is the first time I'm gonna get eyes on this one. So hopefully it's not a disappointment. Like I said, it was pretty surprising to get this one this early on. I didn't expect that, but like I said, it was definitely a pleasant surprise nonetheless. Okay guys, here we go. This is Blue Note 1595, Cannonball Adderley something else. This is a stereo pressing. Not an original first pressing, unfortunately. That would have been a hell of a steal. Uh, but from my um, uh, research, it's a second pressing. So, I mean, let's, before we uh, look at the vinyl, I mean, jacket looks really nice. No seam splits. The back. It's listed as a 59 stereo, but uh, I really don't think it is. But... I mean, that cover looks awesome, guys. So hopefully the vinyl looks really good as well. Well, let's see here. Looks like a couple hairlines on side A, or side one. It's got that Plastilite P and the RVG stereo. It's got one or two that might might cause a little bit of noise, but all in all, it's uh pretty clean. So, I mean, at eighty bucks, I mean, you really can't go wrong. But definitely, uh, you know, definitely. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like super, super uh, impressed by it, but looks like it'll play pretty good. I mean, everything I can see here, it's all hairlines. There's nothing deep that I can feel. Um, and I mean, and it's a classic. So, you know, I'll, uh, if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram at uh, treemcgee814, I'll definitely be doing a uh, play test on this later on. But uh, this is a, Classic on the Blue Note label. Features uh, Miles Davis on trumpet, Cannonball Adderley on alto sax, Hank Jones on piano, Sam Jones on bass, and the legendary Art Blakey on drums. It's an album I've wanted for a long time. Um, and it's one that turns up quite regularly on eBay, but they're usually beat to crap. Uh, 
stuff. So to find one in decent shape is pretty damn difficult. And when you find them, you spend some serious cash on them. But uh, all in all, I mean, I'm happy. And uh, like I said, I'll I'll know for certain uh, here in a bit when I give this a nice nice solid clean and then uh, put it on the platter. And we'll see what happens. But if you, I hope you guys like this unboxing. Like I said, all my unboxings are completely random. You know, you just don't know what you're going to get. And so far, I've been lucky. But again, I hope you liked what you uh, guys saw. Hope you enjoyed going through this unboxing with me. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, again, it's uh, TreeMcGee814. Uh, that's where I post all my uh, new acquisitions and just share my love of music with everybody. And uh, always try to add new stuff. But uh, apart from that, guys, you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and we'll talk again soon in the new year. Have a good one.